Hello, my name is Neil Wang, and in this video, I will be presenting my submission for the 2024 Congressional App Challenge, Jerry Wandering. Jerry Wandering is an app that models voter patterns in order to intuitively explain the process and impact of gerrymandering. The target audience of Jerry Wandering is curious, civic minded indiv individuals such as students and policymakers. It aims to shed light on gerrymandering for the general public. To create this app, I use the Rust programming language along with a framework called Nano. Here's a simple demonstration. So I just opened the app, and as you can see, we can see these voids or voters moving around based on patterns, which I will discuss later in the video. Now, gerrymandering is the act of taking districts and splitting them <clears throat> into sections that favor one party or the other. So as you can see right now, the red and blue voters are about even, except that red has slightly less. But if we click on gerrymander, it splits up this map into rectangular districts, 51 in total. But as you can see, we have 38 districts that are red, while, whereas blue only has 13 districts, which means that in an election, the red voters are more likely to win, even though they have less people. And this is solely based on the fact that the way these districts are apportioned causes a discrepancy in the actual election results. So how does this model work? Well, here I have three factors that determine the voters' movement patterns, which are alignment, cohesion, and separation. And these are the factors discussed in the original paper on voids. Alignment means that voters will steer towards the average heading of the voters in a radius around them. Cohesion means that voters will steer towards the average position of the voters around them. And finally, separation means that voters will try to stay away from one another. I believe this is a good model for voting patterns because voters tend to vote in the same way as their community, but tend to have individual opinions as well. All right, now we get to the fun part, the gerrymandering, which I'm doing with a custom algorithm I built called Binary Merge. Now how Binary Merge works is that we start with the whole window, and like in computer science class with binary trees, we split it into two parts, and with each of these two halves, we split each of those in half, each of these in half, until we're left with district sizes that we're satisfied with. Now, let's say we evaluate that both of these districts are heavily biased towards blue. What we can do is we can merge these two districts together so that instead of giving two votes to the blue voters, we only give one. And if we follow this up the chain to the whole window, then we end up with a map that's heavily biased towards the red voters. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you understand a little bit more about the process of gerrymandering.